Time waits for no one. I, I knew that as a Rolling Stones song, and I thought, oh, maybe he's doing a, this version of this Rolling Stones song from back in the day, but it's not. It's, a, it's an original, yeah. and this song wasn't even on his debut album. Uh, it was the B-side, actually, of C'est La Vie. Oh, was it really? Yes. I did not know that. Yes. I didn't see that. Oh, okay. Nice. I uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what, did, what did you think of this? I like Ro I like Robbie Neville. I think he has a nice, nice voice. I like. I enjoyed the music. I enjoyed the hits of Sailor V and What's It To Ya. Um, you know, yeah. he had. A, he, yeah. I, I like this song enough, certainly. Uh, but he went on to have a much more, you know, a very a successful songwriting career, produ writing and producing, um, after his biggest hit, Sailor V. What yeah. do you think? Of Ro well. Yeah, of Robbie Neville. I, I, of course, I, I like those two songs. But I, and then you know, I never. I thought I had never heard of him until I did the research, and then I realized that my girls were uh, listening to Robbie Neville compose songs on the Disney Channel constantly. So I would oh, probably, yeah. I probably know a lot of these songs from High School Musical in Hannah Montana that I, I didn't realize Robbie was responsible for. Yeah, and the Cheetah Girls. Don't forget the Cheetah Girls. Oh sure, who can forget the Cheetah Girls? And he he won ASCAP award. Uh, he won ASCAP awards for High School Musical and Hannah Montana stuff, music, not stuff. Good for Robbie. Yes, that's great. I don't know if that's I don't know if that's going to get him in the Songwriters Hall of Fame. Uh, I would but, say not, maybe not, but hopefully he's satisfied with his own. I I think he's very satisfied. Yeah, of 